Hi guys, welcome back. So today we've got this 718 Cayman in for a water meth kit install and a third radiator, radiator install. But before we jump into it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, also notification bell, then you won't miss when we buy new videos go live. So we're installing the water meth kit and the third sensor uh, radiator. Um, this particular car, if you're familiar with our channel already, you would have seen it. We've um, installed our RSS Stage 2 ECU software. So um, over standard, it's making around another 80 horsepower and then also um, sort of like max output of about 385. So a massive upgrade over the standard output um, on this car. Um, the reason why the customer wants to install the water meth kit is because on track, especially when it's hot, this um, customer is feeling that the um, power is being restricted a little bit. So naturally what happens um, with sort of like any sort of like modern day turbocharged car is as the charge temperatures start to climb, the ECU automatically begins to reduce power output um, by sort of like adding more fuel in, um, reducing boost, things like that. All these things reduce um, the output of the vehicle and you can noticeably feel how much more lethargic it feels. So the goal of the water meth system is to um, cool, reduce the charge temps a little bit, um, which allows the ECU to then um, run the um, engine in sort of like the higher power modes for longer, which is obviously um, gonna be a much more enjoyable way to drive the car on the track. Um, with the third center radiator, these Caymans only come with um, the two side radiators, so one either side, um, and we're gonna be installing a third radiator um, with a bunch of other original Porsche components as well. The reason why we're doing this again is because the customer's driving the car on track, um, and he's even noticing sort of like on the motorway that the car sits at around 100, 110 degrees water temp, which isn't necessarily a problem on modern day cars. Um, but obviously if you're gonna be pushing the car um, on the track and you wanna have um, sort of like good reliability for a long period of time, you wanna keep the temperatures uh, managed, especially the coolant and the oil temperatures. So we're upgrading that as well. So the next step is to get the car in the workshop. Um, we're gonna show you the water meth kit and the third radiator, um, so we'll see you inside in a minute. Okay, so we've got the 718 came in on the ramps behind us and we've got the majority of the parts we're going to be installing um, in front of us and I'm just going to talk you through them. So um, one of the upgrades we'll be doing is the third centre radiator. So these cars on the factory, they only come with the two side radiators, um, but they do actually have um, the space um, for a third centre radiator and you can upgrade it um, with some factory Porsche parts um, to... Um, basically make use of the um, existing hole that's there. Um, so we've got the radiator here, and we've got some of the OEM Porsche parts and then an aftermarket grill that are gonna be installing in the center. Um, so what this is gonna do, obviously, by installing a third center radiator is going to um, increase the sort of like the cooling power of the cooling system massively. Um, that's especially gonna be important on track in the summer heat, things like that, to keep the coolant um, temperatures nice and consistently low. Um, and then we've also got a water meth kit here. Um, if you're not familiar with water meth, basically the idea behind it is, is that the water cools down the, the charge temps. So just like a intercooler, intercooler's purpose is to cool the charge temps. That's what the purpose of the water is. And then the meth's purpose is then to increase the octane levels. So it kind of has the effect of installing like a high, or not installing, of using like a high octane fuel. So on these cars where there's no charge cooler upgrades um, currently available and they do... Um, once the uh, charge temperatures start to increase, the ECU starts to automatically reduce the power output through various ways. Um, that's going to limit um, the performance potential. These cars suffer uh, from it. Obviously, there's no intercooler upgrade, so there's no sort of like way of, of solving that problem at the moment. So a water meth kit is a good way at the moment to um, overcome that problem and allow you to enjoy maximum power for more of the time. Um, so yeah, so we're going to get these uh, parts fitted to the car. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video.
so we finished off doing the meth insulation on the Cayman um, and we've also put it on the dyno as well just to see if it makes any more sort of like power and torque um, and obviously as you can see behind me it does so we're just going to walk you through the graphs um, so the solid lines are as the car's leaving us and then the dotted lines is when the car arrives so this car has already got the um, RSS stage 2 ECU software so running uh, more boost than standards, um, which is obviously why installing the meth kit would um, have like a benefit. And then obviously all the rest of the maps inside the ECU optimize like fully ignition and stuff like that. So put the meth kit on, on the car, obviously progressive kit, it comes in at around 0.7 bar progressively um, up to the maximum. So um, yeah, just gonna talk you through the graphs. So um, the car came in making around 385 horsepower and 351 foot pounds of torque and new peak figures are 397 horsepower and 375 foot-pounds of torque with the meth. The maximum gains within the rev range is making around another 21 horsepower at 5,800 RPM and around 53 foot-pounds as low down as 2,000 RPM, so a massive difference. It's now making um, the horsepower that it made this morning around 650 RPM sooner, so um, the new peak power is down at 5,650 and then um, foot-pounds of torque wise it's now making peak torque around um, 1150 rpm sooner so um, peak torque is now down at 3650 rpm um, so as you can see obviously more power and torque all the way across the rev range and um, obviously there's no performance intercoolers for these cars available at the moment so a meth kit sort of like a nice um, stopgap solution in between when intercoolers are available now so yeah gonna hand the keys over to the customer hope you enjoyed the video Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then please give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to watch other videos of ours that YouTube thinks you'll like, then click up here. If you'd like to watch some other videos that we have in the same playlist, then click here. And obviously, if you enjoyed the video, then we'd really appreciate if you gave us a subscription. Um, and then obviously, you'll be updated when other videos of ours go live. And you can do that quite easily by clicking here. Hope to see you soon.